for lead guitar, the building blocks is scales. There's a million different scales you can play, you can learn, but here's the trick. We're gonna start with the pentatonic scale, but you're gonna think of it in a different way. You're gonna think of it as more of like a starting place where you can learn to manipulate that scale to make it sound like any other scale. When you play this scale, it just it's like it's perfectly designed and made for the guitar. So if you start on any root note, there's no wrong notes in the pentatonic scale. You can land on any of these notes. You got your root note on the first finger here. Another root note right there on your third finger. And then you go all the way up to the top. And there's the root note again on the on the sixth string. So you've got these three, you've got the, your root notes in this really convenient place where it's right under your fingertips. And all the notes are accessible right there. But don't stop there. You can learn to manipulate that scale. And the first way you'll look at this is by adding notes to the scale. So for example, if I walk up the scale, we're gonna kind of focus on the middle area of the scale because that's where it kind of sounds best. So you're gonna walk up from the from the root note. And when you get to this third string, you can do a lot of cool stuff on there. And one of the things you can do is if you go from your first finger to your second finger, adding that note in, that note right there gives it more of like a major -y sound. And that's a fantastic, it gives you this sound. So all of a sudden, when you add in that note there with your second finger, that totally morphed scale and it gives that much more major -y kind of sound. So there's a bunch of other notes on that on that third string as well. You can add in this note with your pinky and that really gives it that cool bluesy sound because that's the flat five note. This note here. So you can see once you take your pentatonic scale and you start to add some of these notes in from your second finger and your fourth finger, all of a sudden it opens up the scale to all these different sounds. And then when you get up onto these strings here, whenever you have that kind of stretch of three frets, you can kind of like bridge between those two notes by adding in another note. And that what that gives you is the three notes per string, which is really, three notes per string is the secret to playing fast because you can do a double pull off. You can do the same thing on the top string. So you can see there, I mean, you basically think of the scale almost like as a, as a fingering placement or as kind of a grip for your hand. Starting place. And then you can add in this major third. You can add in that flat five. Or you can add in these three notes per string, kind of rockabilly licks. You can do it on each, actually on each string. So already there, you can do a lot with the, with the scale. So you really want to kind of get inside the scale and play with it and get your hands very used to just what it feels like. To going up and down that scale and then what it sounds like when you add those different notes in. 